So health disparities at this point for us in rural communities, we don't have the, the access to medical care that we need to have. And um, traveling is quite a bit for a lot of individuals and citizens. So this is not another opportunity that we're able to give direct care to the citizens of Saline. Initially with the Health Disparities Grant, they wanted to reduce the barriers for individuals in rural communities to have access to testing and um, vaccines. It was pretty easy for me to think at that point, um, we need to get on the road and kind of have, have fun, you know? We actually had a huge um, established uh, vaccine clinic that we were doing at Missouri Valley College, but um, which was great for flow and getting hundreds of people in, but having the opportunity to let people come into um, our bus and to come into our environment and being able to uh, vaccinate them in a little bit more of a private setting, that was a big deal for a lot of people. Then that's when the fun part starts, right? So you're like, okay, what else can we do? How else can we take advantage of having this bus in our county? And um, it, First thing I thought of initially was the WIC program. It's so much easier for parents to not have to travel with their kids. Um, it saves them a lot of time, a lot of money, inflation, everything. Um, the cost of living has gone up so much, so it gives us an opportunity to be able to serve them um, on a more local basis. We serve Sweet Springs and Slater. We go there once a month. Then. Once we kind of get established here on the WIC side of things, then we're opening up on the health department side as well. We'll be able to do labs, blood pressure checks, and uh, any type of adult vaccines. We're planning on taking the bus to all the larger schools and smaller schools and being able to vaccinate kids for the immunization requirements. We're not having to go into other places. This is our home, and so we're very comfortable here, and we're hoping to extend that to our, our people. Being in a rural community, it, it obviously, um, we, we really genuinely know our people. And I feel like that's how we survived COVID and how we came out of it um, in a little bit of a better light because we knew what our people needed to hear and we were able to communicate that with them. They just needed to know that we were there for them. And I think that is, um, huge being able to say that you actually know your people, love your people, concerned about your people, and um, we definitely did it as a team effort, and we had to, because at the end of the day, it's us here in Saline County. We have to band together, and how are we gonna do this? So we were able to do that. It allows us to forward think and prepare a little bit more for what we have endured in the last three years. Our goal is always to serve our community the best that we can. And I think by us being able to take advantage of opportunities that are available now, it will help us in the future to be able to um, make services easier.